time to get our lives together. Hey friend. So, I don't know if you can see me. My office is dark because I have automatic lights and I'm too lazy to get up and... Alright, anyways. So, I'm sitting in my office and I'm on lunch. I think it looks cuter when the background's on, but... I'm on lunch right now and I was answering some questions that I got DM'd and I realized that I was answering like the same question every time. So I figured I think I'm going to start like a segment where I'm answering very common questions that I get and we'll call it like tech tips or I don't know. You make something up front. But um, a question that I was answering a lot was do I need an internship to get a job? Yes and no is the short answer. So an internship will just get you an interview or your resume looked at faster. It's not gonna guarantee you a job, of course, but you are on the priority list, per se, if you have an internship. I hope you guys can hear me. It's my heated blanket. I'm sorry, it gets really cold. If you have a technical background, right, meaning you are in college, or you um, graduated from college with a traditional computer science or computer engineering degree or whatever. Um, if you're in college, I highly recommend that you get an internship if you can. There are situations where you just can't get an internship. I understand that. Um, be it your GPA or whatever it is, you couldn't get an internship. Fine. It's not the end of the world. What I suggest is that you um, join your local ACM chapter. I don't know if you have ACM at your institution or any type of club involvement that is related to the part of software engineering you're trying to get into. Um, I also recommend you volunteer for any type of like teaching role, like teaching kids how to code or something like that. Anything that can showcase your skills and leadership abilities. That's really important when employers are looking for a job or employers are looking for um, new graduates. Also, if you um, have already graduated, then same thing that I just said, but I really want you to put an emphasis on working on open source projects because I know a lot of friends who don't have, didn't have internships at, well, not a lot, but like four friends who didn't have an internship, but they were working on open source projects and the companies actually hired them because they put in like some meaningful code onto their projects. So that made them really stand out. Um, also, again, emphasis on making sure your GitHub is on point, making sure you have really good projects on there, like meaningful projects. My mentor always tells me to um, recreate Amazon so that my skills stay sharp. So that's something that I would recommend, like um, recreating a website that you really like in um, the language of strongest that or a new language, whatever it is. So if you have a non-technical background, I would, same thing as before, but I also would suggest, one, if you are just out of a boot camp, I you better have been networking because you watched my videos about how important networking is. Once you're done with all your networking, you're continuing networking, make sure you are volunteering for some type of teaching role. No matter what your background is, honestly, teaching is the best way to learn something. And if you're not teaching or giving back your knowledge, then you're not doing it right. So I always recommend people, just in general, to always give back the knowledge that you have attained. What else did I DM you guys? Um... Yeah, um, software engineering is just, it's not always about code, like, or technical internships. Like, a friend of mine, he didn't have an internship, and um, he worked at Subway for three years as a manager, and that is very impressive because it shows leadership skills. I didn't have an internship, but I had, um, a, if you've seen my last videos, I had a paid student backend developer position for a year, and that in itself was what pretty much saved me. But I will make a video about how being a software engineer is not all about just coding. That's just a, a part of it. There's a lot of other things that you need to be doing and be good at as well. But also, but again, don't be, not again, but also, don't be afraid to apply for jobs that are asking for a different language than you know. 
jobs know, especially if you're applying for startups, they know that you're new, you're, that you're fresh out of college. So you're always gonna have like a grace period where they're going to let you learn the language or perfect the language. So if you are good at Python, then apply for a job position, if you, a Java position, if you like the position. Don't think, oh, they're only gonna accept people who are proficient in Java because that's not true. And that's pretty much how I've been answering the question that I've been getting a lot on my DMs. And so I hope that was actually helpful. This video is actually sponsored by Hostinger. Now, the only reason I know about Hostinger is when my friend and I were going to um, Tech Fest, which is like Career Fest, but specifically for tech, it was right after our class, so we had to like run over there. We both forgot to print out our resumes, and we get there, and we get to the first table, and they're like, oh, you know, can I have your resume? And I'm just like, my what? I'm sorry. <laughs> and she pulled up her website, and I was like, when did you make a website? Like, I was so confused, but she pulled out her website that had a resume on it, and they were talking about it, and I was just like, you know, just, I looked dumb. But anyway, <laughs> the point is, that was my first introduction to Hostinger, because my friend actually helped me set up a website through them right after that. But they're pretty much one of the best and fastest web hosting sites. Now, whether you have a website or some kind of server need, they have very affordable plans. I've used shared web hosting to create a fast and convenient website before, and Hostinger offers WordPress support so that creating it is even easier and convenient. So there really is no reason to have at least a website where you can actually show your resume like my friend did, and don't be like me. <laughs> So go to hostinger.com slash Senegatas and use my code Senegatas for 91% off. And thank you so much to Hostinger for sponsoring this video. Again, go to hostinger.com slash Senegatas and use code Senegatas to get 91% off web hosting yearly plan succeed faster. And I will see you later, friend. I will do a lot more of these in the coming few days, actually. Bye!